to another Fortnite Save the World video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build Amplifier A here. As you can see, I've already built it, um, but because of the video already, I'm, re I'm recording the intro after they've done the build already. Um, so in as you can see here, I have all of this here. Um, for the sto um, Storm Shield part, the so Storm Shield um, builds were here and over here but for for my buildings i don't need them anymore so i had to de so i destroyed them so yeah guys so if you need to uh, find well figure out how to do the storm shield defenses um just watch this video you'll find how to do the whole area um and it should be pretty good for you and you should be able to use this for endurance as well um when you get to endurance like you complete all 10 of your storm shield waves or whatever you can destroy these or when, or when you place an amplifier here and here. So if you place your amplifier there, you can destroy this one. If you place your amplifier there, you can destroy this one. But yeah, guys, that's the um, that should be all for what I need to say. But guys, if you do enjoy, like the video and subscribe, comment, share, follow. You know, hit the bell, do all that good stuff for me. Um, I'm gonna be doing the whole series for this stuff. Stay tuned for it to all be coming out. And yeah, guys. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, so here we got Amplifier A, so this is what we're going to be doing today. Uh, there's only really, there's usually three ways that they would come, if that's in, uh, including the Storm Shield defences. So for the earlier Storm Shield defences before you start building all these, so if you before you get this one you'll get zombies spawning down there. Um, for you get your Empire D, that will start coming from this way and back down there, just all that area there. Um, but the main direction they, well, the only direction they will come for endurance is up there, facing the east. So they'll come west, south, east. See, so E for an endurance is pretty easy to remember. Alright, guys, so there's two spots that you want to kind of block off for east. It'd be this section here and this section here. Uh, and like, and up there. But like, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, first off, we'll work on the easy stuff, I guess. So for starters, you want to build your section. So we're going to build with metal. So we're going to bring everything to this spot right here. So we're going to go one. So we're just going to do a two by three here. And then do our little drop off area kind of thing here. And kind of connect it. Just do one of these. It should just look like this. If you would like, you can put them like that. Just for better looks, it's totally up to you. I don't do that stuff because, you know, it just kind of wasted materials. But I'm going to do it just to show you guys. So it should look something like this, just for the drop part. Um, remember, go up. If you would like, you can go one higher and add ceiling drop traps instead. But I'm not going to do that. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. We're just going to bring them all to this spot right here. We just always want to bring them to this one spot right here. Before that, we're going to zigzag them. We'll just open this just so you can see. So if they will spawn down there, um, so you can block off whichever direction you want. So to get the right spot, you want to start from here. So you want to go one, wait, two, three, and then block off this one and this one. So it should look something like that. Really simple, add your two ceilings here as well, make sure you cover everything. It should just be a basic build, it's really simple. Um, there is also this side over here. This side is very annoying to build for. So what I would recommend is for you to do something like this. So you drop your ceiling kind of like this, kind of angle it so it comes to this spot right there. Open this up, break that out of the way, remember I put those there all the time, like so, um, we're going to box this one area in, make sure you block this top area off as well, like properly, with like the proper builds and stuff, so like for example these, we're going to go back a couple, put like this much, add cones, face them out of course, So, 
I reckon add another one here just in case. Face it now. Bam. Should look just look something like that. Really simple. Make sure you chuck your ceilings over top there. Uh, connect this like so, and then this should be the main area that's kind of going to get attacked. Um, well, it's not really attacked as much. So you wanna just do a two by one here. Do your cone placements, you know. Make sure you block it off good. Uh, I would add just a ceiling section here and just go all the way along for a little bit till you get to this line here. Or if you want to, you can go one further back. Make sure you do connect this off to the ground somewhere if you can. Or just connect it to wherever it feels good. Like so. I'm going to connect these like here, just more stronger. Nice. Remember, block. So they should only just come in here. Uh, ceiling drop traps across the roof. And then you got your little tunnel that they bring them through to here. Remember, make sure you do block off. Cone, remember, facing it in. Same as this one, face that one in. This one facing outwards. Shrooms are very simple guys. Alright, before we get on to the next side, I think we're going to build the amplifier straight up. So you, you remember what we do for every other one, just face them out the wrong way, well the opposite way of your amplifier. So this one would face out towards east, south, uh, southeast. This one will face towards northeast. And this one should face to uh, northwest. That one should face southwest. Okay, should look something like that. Remember, top piece, make sure it's a one by one. Grab your cone, do your editing to turn it into like a little pyramid. Really? There we go. Should just look something like this. Really simple. Oh, I've got a wall. Make sure they're protected. If you would like to, you can protect this part. But that's only if they're not getting attacked. Well, and that's not where you're sending the zombies. So for this one here, we want to open it halfway to kind of know where you're going. Push that out one just to make sure you know. Alright, so we're going to go on with south now. We're done west. I'll do the traps later. Okay, for south. I'm going to destroy this little part here real quick. Uh, this part isn't really needed. This is for my other amplifier, so I'll fix it later. Actually, no, we'll keep that there, I guess. It's good enough. Alright, guys. So, all we need to do is pretty much what we did on the opposite side over there, but we're going to do it here. So remember, use your material that you like. Make sure, like, if they ca if they can't walk up, you never place them, or you're just gonna kind of ruin the chance of you getting them in there. All right. So f from this, you want to just do kind of like a weird blockage, like so. Um, go out to this part here. You should reach this section right here. That should be as far as you need to go. Make sure you connect that off here do that the whole way around. I would recommend putting that wall there just just for protection if you would like. You don't have to do that but it's up to you. Um, if all my builds were here I probably would have just connected it off like this because you know they would have just been fenced off you know. Uh, if you would like I'd fence it off like so how I've done. It's just a more capable technique that looks a little bit better so yeah, um, just do it like this, I guess. Um, with this, just chuck your ceilings down. Uh, change the section of the faces like this, as you can see. 
it's just another kind of technique to strengthen up where your build is to kind of set them off you just don't want anything to go down there that's why uh, make sure you cut that off by that. this just a little one it should be perfect now you can sit in here if you have to and just shoot them all right it's really simple that should be pretty much the whole build here um, except for like just tunneling them back over to the base all right so just do so like this and this um, for the gap that's here just you know fill them in with the cones that I usually would do make sure they're facing outwards depending on the way that you want um, this one I'm gonna face this way because of where the base is this one I'm gonna face this way because it's just where it is all right you can copy if you'd like all right as you can see we do have this four area up here uh, you can add the section to fully cover that up just to tr um, throw down a defender it would help quite a lot you can do the exact same thing on west if you would like it's still the four by four uh, two by two section so you can just throw like your, your defenders down there to stop them from coming up you know it's just easier all right so let's move on to the left side of the south part okay so we have my amplifier there but it all they will spawn down there so we're gonna build this area up so we're gonna go one two three four five it should connect to that so you shouldn't need to worry uh, if you want to you can connect like so just to give it more power put the wall there for wall darts to shoot straight out to attack same with here and there all right from that you want to come up make sure you place your ceiling to get your better strength to your build this one okay this part's kind of up to you if you would like to you can strengthen it by doubling it up and going like so all the way to the base but I think I'm just gonna go one one straight line it would just probably be the simplest section just because if you're a lower level you don't want to build as much um, you want to just leave this open just for now just so you can get out all right that should be the whole build that you need if you want to make it a little bit harder for the zombies just do this it's always the simpler way it will just mess with the zombies you know put that one there all right we'll just do that just for this spot Okay, just leave this open for now, and we'll shut it later, if you have to. Okay, so that should be all of south. You shouldn't need any more builds than that. I'll show you the traps after. Okay, east. Okay, this is kind of the one that takes a lot longer. So you want to mark out where you want to place. So, for example, I want the base to come here. So if this is the middle, this is where I want it. Yes. So I want this in the middle. I should have added it like that, so I know. That should be perfect. Make sure you one by one this part off so you know what it's about. For starters, you want to straight up go a wall all the way along to here and protect it off with the walls as here. Make sure you cone them off as well or it's not going to really work. Um, face them off this way, I guess. Now you want to start facing them towards northeast the whole way to your base. And then that should be all you need for the blockage of this base. If they do try to go through, you can put more back. But I ain't going to do that. I don't need to. Add ceilings. It just looks more cleaner like so. Um, same with the side over here. You want to go all the way across to the wall. Do the exact same thing as what you just did. But face them out this way. Towards the southeast. as you can see um, from this section here if you would like to you can extend this drop off into here to keep on going or you can change it up and to keep them only down here and just block this whole section off all right so this part's going to be a little bit confusing all right so this is kind of how it's going to work so you're going to kind of come towards the right side if you're facing facing east quite towards where the southeast amplifier is and you want to kind of build your wall up. I'm going to show you how to do this part. 
make sure you block it off like this remember cones all the way around cone all the way around and then drop down a little bit do the exact same thing as what you've done here put the ceilings cones face them out cone up this. and then that should be pretty close to good you shouldn't really need more than that except for like over here uh, make sure you block that off with the wall there just for the protection um, face that way face that way put a wall down there just so they don't try and break through this and go down that way okay keep it like so and go like that bam you just want to do it all the way to this wall here oh might run out of stuff in a second I'm gone yeah Uh, so we're just gonna play this like so to make it a bit stronger you might have to put it here too the cone facing out that way as well just to make sure nothing can jump into that box and it should be pretty much safe because once you get the amplifier D you shouldn't really need more builds than that because once you get amplified B and um, no D done you'll connect this part up to about here so I guess we can do that now so you want to face it off like so but with this part there will be your one by one that comes down and that will connect all the way down to the amplified D so they can't actually come around all the way that's what this is for just to block them off right from that, we're going to go from straight, uh, actually, before we keep uh, get the actual main build done, I'll go with this part. So, we're going to head back towards the big storm shield, and from where this part is, so there should be an opening straight away right here. All you want to do is just wall this whole thing off till you get to the drop off. Do the same thing back. Remember, cones facing outwards, outwards, just do it the whole way across, like so, make sure you put your walls in between, cover that with ceilings just so it looks better, uh, do the same thing back to, go back just one and do the one by two that's there. It's just for extra protection. If you feel like they're gonna try and break it, which they can or might, just extend it again and just do that. Then you should be pretty safe. All right. There should be only one more protection that's kind of needed, but like, I will show you the other one that goes there in a minute um, when I start doing the actual build. But this part kind of gets blocked off you want to just block the whole section off um, right here you just want to put a it uh, depends on where you want it if you want it there or there totally up to you you can extend it and make a double if you would like but I'm going to add a defender post here for heavy sniper obliterator so for example if you have an obliterator right it can shoot through walls so if you extend the walls up to about half and then you leave the door open here like so you should have a pretty safe base for them because they can't get shot and they can just use your heavy sniper to shoot through the walls to kill the zombies so that's why I have it like so it just seems a lot better when I when I do it like that that's why well I've kind of had problems with it before that's why I've kind of fixed it and changed it towards that way uh, which way am I? Where am I facing? Right, so it's down to the bottom, so you want this one facing outwards, of course. This one you want facing towards northwest, just so it stops them from, you know, coming around. But yeah, that should be the, that should be just the basics for this blockage section. You shouldn't really need more. I would definitely recommend fully upgrading that whole section there, 
I'd recommend just upgrading this whole section of uh, of this, you know, all this stuff. See, that's what I'm doing. Like, I'm doing the videos and then, you know, doing all of the upgrades just because I don't want to bore you with all the upgrading. Because, you know, upgrading, you know what to do. You just upgrade every single thing that's in the game. Pretty much. <laughs> you just pretty much upgrade all of your stuff and then that's it. That's just it. Alright, so all you need to do is just place all your ceilings and kind of just follow the line that you've made. It just makes it a lot easier to do it this way. Um, there's two ways you can do so with this this base. Um, there's two, yeah, there's just two ways. So, for example, you can do it like this. Drop them down to the one by one section and connect them up. Or you can put your wall there and extend it up to height all the way all across here. So this gives it a chance to use um, ceiling drop traps instead of gas traps. So it's up to you if you want to use something like that. But I'm going to go with the bottom drop. Just because it's just more easy to place the traps. So we're just going to build that all the way across to make the one by one. It should be pretty good. It should just look something like this. Really, it looks really compact and like so much stuff is everywhere. But it really, well, A is usually the one that's always been like that. Um, but yeah. So that should be the left part of the east side. Uh, we're going to go with the middle now. So the middle's kind of confusing to work with because of this slope. So what I do with this slope, usually I'll place our walls like so go with this all the way across till we get to here then drop them down and you know put them in here but usually you don't really need to it's totally up to you if you would like to um, destroy these if you would like um, but yeah well that's kind of how I usually set them up but if you want to you can get rid of all of this as you can see and just trap it like just drop trap the hell out of it it will work if you drop trap the, sh the crap out of it you know like you can do all the way to here you know put your things there then lift up I'll show you how to do that in one second but I'm gonna go with my basic stuff that I usually go with and keep it as the floor Right, so we've got our ceilings that come all the way there. It should be a 3x3 three three area with a little bit of a droppage with cones. So you should have a flat ceiling uh, stick. That's it, a cone piece that goes straight down to stairs and block that section off so it turns. So it just looks something like this. Uh, throw a ceiling, uh, not a ceiling, um, a couple of you know, cones down there. No, not cones. Just floors all right just throw some floors down there and put like a section like this it's just to stop them from trying to break through here because sometimes they can and try to but I wouldn't think so you know what? we're just gonna do one all right so just connect it off with one I guess um, just leave that open uh, full um, cover this whole section with like ceilings and wall. Um, you'll see what I'll do with that in a minute. Alright, so that should be the basic build for this section. So with this you don't want to build on that. You want to kind of build in a two section. It's very confusing but it's just the only way I can kind of figure out how to build this right. You can extend it back one if you'd like to but I won't do that because it kind of just raises a little bit of concern for the build. In my opinion. Actually, we might have to do this one different. Um, block, block, put a wall there, put a wall there. That should look better. Remember, make sure you cover everything so lobbers can't sit here and break stuff. Alright, so it should just look something like this. Really simple build. Basics. Alright, so then this part's kind of annoying, but you want to get your 4x4 four four placement and a wall. Um, I'm going to go get some metal real quick to show you what I'm going to do here. But for this part that I'm building now, you should only, you should need it for some traps. So you should use your ceiling traps, for example, ceiling drop traps would be the one you'd use to do this build because of how it is um, 
setup because it's coming up too high. It's kind of just the main kill point of your base. But then these are all like just backup straight kills, you know? So, you know, nothing can get through. So all you want to do is just kind of lift it up like so to this. Remember, a four, just a two by two on the roof. If you want to add cones, go ahead. But I'm not going to. And with this, you don't build anything in here. You just leave it kind of open. Uh, block that up. Just take that one out to make it look cooler. Uh, add the walls if you'd like, just, I don't know. Actually, you, no, you can extend the whole thing and just add this, if you would like to. It gives it more cool, more looks, I like. I like that, actually. We'll, we'll leave that, we'll leave that. So you can do it like this. Uh, usually, there's never a floor here, because sometimes it can get broken by the storm. That's why I never have them there. And if these do get broken, it doesn't really matter. You can change them to this. And these won't get broken by storm. If you didn't know. Alright, good. So that should be the basic build, you know, your ceiling drop traps on the roof. And yeah. You know what? We're gonna put the walls there just to clean it up a little bit. Just so it looks cooler. Alright. So that should be the main build through the middle. Now we're gonna move over to the east right side. There's some blockage we're gonna do before we can even do the building. And the first part I wanna block off is this section right here. This is the worst spot for this area. Just because they always try and get up here. And it's really annoying to stop them. Actually, we wanna face that off the other way. Um, you just wanna try your absolute best to stop them from coming up here. Maybe facing them off like this might be a good idea. Now nah, we'll, we'll, we'll just keep them up like this, I guess. Right, you want to cone that, make sure you put that out, put ceilings across the top. Perfect. So you never, never try and connect this. I know it's going to be kind of difficult to do, but if you do connect, it's going to be kind of weird because then it might actually give them a chance to get onto the roof but it's kind of a bit difficult to stop if you'd like just add you know another cone piece that comes up here actually, we'll face it the other way just so they can't get up onto this side that should look a little bit better um, to give it more oomph, to keep it stable just add stairs Block the stairs off like so. Ceilings. Or just don't put them at all. Just leave it open. It should be however you like that. From this, you want to add cones and ceilings. This is just the little slope part that's on the opposite side of the box thing that we're building. All you want to do is just kind of just add the cones. You don't really need to do anything else. Just make sure you fully box them as well. Just more protection. That's the only reason I box them. But yeah. Uh, you want to do the same on this side, but you want to do it with the actual cones. So you want to double cone it, face the cones out that way, wall it off. And we should be pretty close to done. Uh, you can do the same on this side all the way along to the top. But I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't, well you don't really need to, it's not really something that has to be done. Cover this up as well, it'll look better. Okay, it's going to be cost me so much metal. Anyway, um, you'll get a spawn that kind of spawns just over here. Uh, you get some down there, you'll get them all up there. Just, it's just a massive spawn. They can come like all this way, so you don't really want to build too far back. But you want to kind of start it around here, so you want to kind of just build a long wall that comes straight all the way to this drop and then stop for a second remember make sure you just cover everything up go in little bits at a time and it's work by the way i do all of this off memory so try not to you know if you need to just slow it down just slow it down because i i built this many times off memory every time i've had to redo my endurance builds and just redo them and make videos off them so 
Yeah. So I kind of know how to build every single spot. Off memory. So yeah. That's pretty smart. So just, I don't know, we're just gonna block this off just because it m might stop them from breaking stuff. I don't know. This should be just the tunnel that you get. Um, if they are coming this way and they're trying to get in, just try and block off what you can. For example, just do something like this. It could give you more of a chance to protect it. This is complete overkill, by the way. This is how I build them. It's just complete overkill. It do, It's how you set them up for storm shield missions, you know? That's kind of why they like this. But yeah, they should be pretty simple to do. It's just, you know, a couple of blocks. It's just protection, mega protection. Because I don't think they would actually walk that whole distance around just to get up here to get into there but they can't because of this will be in the way but yeah really weird isn't it guys sorry if it's very confusing but this is how I have to build this I'm trying to go as slow as I can to keep it in a, like a faster video though so it kind of moves quicker make sure you're slowing it down if you have to okay I can't stress that enough because I always get stuff like that where I'm going too fast but it's it's just how I can do it to fit it all into one video for you guys so yeah all this you just want to kind of connect it really you just want to I don't know why that's so high up just kind of connect what you can that can stay up high because that's how it's got to be and yeah that's just the basics just keep on coming down don't put nothing here to, to come bring them down you don't have to put any like stuff like this or nothing, it doesn't need to be there. Keep that there to just for protection. Do I need that another extension here? No, I don't. Alright. Alright, we're all good. So that should be how perfect it needs. So this should join all the way back up to this part here. This is what you want. You want it to always join up. Now everything is joined to this one middle spot here. And everything should go there. Alright guys. So that's the pretty much the whole build. I uh, that's yeah, that's mainly the whole build. So we're gonna get onto some traps, I think. So for starters, we're gonna get onto the ceiling drop traps. Really simple, drop trap, drop trap, drop trap. If you would like to, you can add wall darts, whatever you want here. I'm gonna add a few wall darts, I think. I'm gonna add a wall dart here and here. And probably there as well, I think. Just for this for the distance. Um here I'm gonna add a wall pusher. It's just to push them back that way so they know where they're going. Same with this one, you want to do the same here and here. There, there, there. It took, and just as far as you can go, I guess. With this, you just want to add your wall that comes like this. I'm going to craft a couple of those. I'm going to drop, give them some low levels. I think we might craft about 10 of those now. Where are they? Okay, so we're going to go what, your one there, one there, one here, and one here. So once they should get all the way to here, they should get sent all the way back. As far as, you know, they should come all the way. Yeah, they should just always come all the way back to here. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, every other spot on the walls, just add broadsides. You don't really need anything else. So make sure you're adding wooden floor spikes to slow them down for this part. You can add them there as well. Um, here we can add broadsides to protect more protection. It should be pretty simple, guys. Um, for the roofing, you can use electric field or gas traps. Totally up to you. What you want to use. I'm just going to use electric field because it's better. I'm not going to do any of this part because it's still the exact same as what you would use from up there. It, just without the wall launches. For example, like you'd add broadsides over every wall, dynamos on both of these sides, which I'm going to do to protect this. Dynamo, dynamo, dynamos. Where's my dynamos? They're there. 
You get two wall dynamos, you know. It's just double protection. If you would like to, you can add wall dynamos in here to protect that, to give that extra health as well. But I wouldn't do so. Well, you, it, it's up to you. If you're getting, if they're coming through that way, just add a whole bunch of like uh, heal traps and like max damp, max health traps, and it just give you more opportunity of them not to go down there. Um, all this tunnel needs to just be broadsides and stuff like that. I'm gonna start from the top. So this is the this is the one on the left side of the east part over here. So you just want to add your electric fields. I'm just going to add one there, I guess. One here, one here, one here, one here. Um, you add a wall pusher there. Put, like, your kind of protected thing there. On this wall down here, you can add your wall darts. Uh, do, I would do the same on this section as well. Just so it reaches all that distance. Because it should reach pretty much most of that distance there. Alright, with this one, remember, broadsides, lowing stuff. I guess we can just throw the rest of these down. All the way across, make sure you put them here too. Broadsides. Uh, darts, I would put there too. Craft a couple of darts, I think. Uh, this one's just for the shoot straight, because a lot of them will spawn straight in front of this area. So if you do have a bunch of darts, it's good. Um, if you would like, you can add darts all the way along here, which I'm going to do. So just give them more strength to your build. Uh, I'll do the same here or there, whichever you feel. Uh, for this wall right here, I would throw a sand wall. I know, we're, we're using sand walls, I know. Uh, you're going to need a couple of sand walls for these builds, actually. So, so you want to throw a sand wall there. You want to throw a sound ball here, just to stop them from trying to break that part. Yeah, um, I'll show you in a minute where more spots are. Uh, from if you come all the way down here, this should be the main build all the way. Uh, I would throw a double section here, just to keep it all the way down. But no one, but no one use guys. Uh, use will probably do the whole thing. Well, I'd, I'd recommend just you just doing the whole whole tunnel. Because it would just be better and more safer. Alright, so we're going to head back out. Head back out through the middle part. And we want to head back straight off to the east. Go to the right section where we've done all this mega block off. Okay? So from this, you want to add three of your wall, uh, sand walls. So you want to add three sand walls right here. It's just to stop them from trying to break in as you can see, because they will try and break in up there, if you don't. Um, that's where you're going to have a really powerful section here, to kind of strengthen this and stop them from going this way. I would just tunnel them like so, and if you would like, add one here, just a broadside, just to shoot them when they come up this little section here. That should be the basics. Um, remember, if you want to add more of your own stuff, just go further as far as you want. Uh, I'm going to add a wall dart here, just on this one here, just for the extension how and how far it is. Bam. Um, and then just electric fields. Um, throw your electric fields as far as you would like. Um... If I was you, I would probably throw your your electric fields through every ceiling that you can, just in case stuff does get through, where it will still always get stunned in the base. It's probably one of your like smarter decisions, I'd think. Um, another thing you can do, this is up to you, not my decision. You can do this at a like a little three section here, and you can throw your electric fields on there if you like, or gas traps, whatever you want to chuck. But you don't have to do that. That's not really needed. All right for this, you want to add. Um, you just want to come back up to this section right here. Um, in this section, you want to add two defender posts. 
I know I don't usually add defender posts much, but you want to just throw them two down here. Same with over here. If you haven't already, there's you can just throw a defender post right on the top here. Now that I have them, I'll just throw them there. Yeah, that should be all you should need for the section up here. Uh, if you are getting hammered and they are getting through, just throw a defender post here, straight on the top of where your opening is. Remember, this section all down here has to be covered. I did forget that. That was my bad. But you gotta remember all of the spots where you think they can get in, they will try and get in. Even the spots that you don't think they'll come, they will try and come. So, just block everything off. Alright, there we go. And we should be all good. That should be pretty much all of the build. There shouldn't really be more of the build that you need than this. As you can see, um, there could be a problem here. Um, for this part, I would just block this off and just add cones. Because if they do actually break through on that side over there, like over here, you don't really want them to come through. You want them to take their longer route and go all the way down there. In which, which case they would die to those. So this is the mega build that I have to do every time I do this. See, I remember all of this off my brains. So yeah. That should be everything that you need, guys. Remember, slow it down. I know I keep saying it, but it's really important if you need to. So you don't miss anything. But yeah, guys, that should be the whole build. Make sure you cover this section too. I don't know why I did it in, didn't do it in the first place. And we're done. Perfect. That should be every build that you need, guys. So that's me for today, guys. I hope you just did enjoy. If you did, smack that like button for me real quick. Actually, hang on. I forgot parts. I forgot to place traps over here. <laughs> that was lucky. Okay, I almost forgot to place traps. Alright. Before we finish the stream, I'm just going to throw a couple down. So you only need four of them. Well, as many as you want to put. Remember, just do the basics of what you do in every other trap tunnel. I will craft about 20 of these again, I guess. Um, just add a ton of broadsides. Um, this wall, you want to put a wall pusher, just so you can get them out. Uh, remember, wall push... Uh, I don't know why I put that there, I was um, Just broadsides all the way along, as far as you think you need them. Uh, this side, you want to have your... I'm going to say wall darts for this part. Uh, but I'm going to chuck broadsides. If you want to put wall darts, go ahead. They might be stronger, but I'm going to do my way for now. Alright, for this, all I'm going to do is add some wall pushes to stop them from coming this direction. And try and push them back this way to keep them away from where we're going. Because they're going to have to come up, you know, go around, do all that stuff. But yeah, uh, and then they should die to most of the drop traps out of here. I'm not putting my 30s in here. Um, th I throw you the rest of your electric fields here, so one and two, and I guess three would go there. Go as far as you would like. I don't need to go too far, so I'm not going to. Just cover all that section up. Bam, that should be pretty much perfect, except for this one wall here. Darts. Add one set of darts all the way here so it can reach that whole distance. If you would like, you can add darts on that side as well. But I'm not going to. I just won't do it. I can't. I've already placed something there, so I won't do it. But yeah, you can throw it there. But yeah, guys. That's the build for this section. This side's simple as well. They're all really simple. This is going to be a very long video, guys, so just bear with me. For this section, you just want to put wall pushes. Pretty simple. One and two... Shouldn't need, need any more than that. Remember, broadsides, just straight damage. Let me get a couple of electric fields going. First time we run out of those in a while. Uh, get some your electric fields, just put the electric fields the whole way through to about 
to there. Shouldn't need any more. Remember, just war traps. Like that. Broadside. 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 Perfect. Um, and I think I'm going to extend this with a little bit more wall pushes. Uh, the wall pushes is going to stop here. So. One, two, and three. Perfect. That's it. Shouldn't need any more than that. Okay. Can I get out here? No, I can't. Alright, we're going to have to go through this way. Alright, guys. There. We've got this last side and we should be done. Remember, this one's easy too. All you need to do is just throw down a whole bunch of drop traps. We've got six, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so six drop traps. If you would like, you can block that section off, but I can't be, I'm just not going to do this, so. Actually, I should do that. It might actually give it more damage. It might actually stop them from bouncing wrong. All right, so we're gonna do that. Add all six there. We're gonna get We've got five more of them, and then we should be pretty much done. Three of those. We're going to be cutting close on time, though. Just, you know, traps everywhere. Done. That should be all you need, guys. You shouldn't need any more traps than this. Um, if they are attacking this wall, just throw down some wall lights or sound walls, whatever you want to use, whatever you think's better. But yeah, guys, that's it for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, smash that like button for me real quick. Subscribe, comment, share, follow, do all that good stuff. I do appreciate it. Look at this maze build. It's freaking huge, but it's definitely worth it. But yeah, guys, that's it for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, do all the things I said. Um, check out the other videos in the playlist below. And yeah, yeah, the part I have forgot for Amplify A here. Um, I f all you need to do is the Lobber Shield. So the Lobber Shield I kind of forgot to do. Um, I forgot to do it on most of the builds. But it's not it, like the hardest thing to make. It's really easy. So all you need to do is just pretty much just straight up build it up. I'm just going to build it out of a different material because it's what I got on me. So you need to build probably, I don't know, that high. Just build it along about three extra builds, like so. Just got two because you're already pretty high up above the ground. And that should be it. That should be all you need. You shouldn't need really any more than this. Um, if you need it, you can just, you know, change it. Give it some, like... I don't know, protection, like here, just to strengthen it up a little bit, but totally up to you guys. There we go, put a wall there, damn, pretty, pretty strong. Alright, that should be all you kind of need, if you are having a little bit more problems with this, just try and put another one that kind of goes along here, only a little one. Oh yeah guys, that's in the, if, if today I hope you enjoy, if you did smash that like button, subscribe, comment, share, follow, hit the bell, do all that good stuff for me, and yeah I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.